Hi, my name is Mike and this is part two of is being a believer in Jesus Christ enough to be raptured. If we look back in Revelation at the seven churches, uh, which is in Revelation chapter two and three, if Jesus came then, would they have been ready to be raptured? Well, let's look a bit about the churches. The first one is um, in Revelation 2, verse 1, is the church of Ephesus. These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your deeds, your hard work and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them to be false. You have persevered and have endured hardships for my name, and have not grown weary. <coughs> Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. Consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. But you have this in your favour. You hate the practice of Nicolaitans, which I also hate. So if Jesus came then, would they have been rapture ready? Next church. The church of Samaria um, in verse 8, Revelation 2 verse 8, <clears throat> to the church in Samaria write, These are the words of him who first and last, who died and came to life again. I know your afflictions and your poverty, you are, you are rich. I know about the slander of those who say they are Jews and not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you, and you will suffer persecution for ten days. Be faithful even to the point of death, and I will give you the life as a victor's crown. So, good chance for them in Samaria. To the church of Pergamum, these are the words of him, this is verse 12, these are the words of him, uh, to the angel of the church of Pergamum write, these are the words of him who have a sharp, double-edged sword. I know where you live, where Satan has his throne, yet you remain true to my name. You did not renounce your faith in me, not even the days of Antipas, my faithful witness, who was put to death in your city where Satan lives. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you. There are some among you who hold the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to entice the Israelites to sin, so they ate food sacrificed to idols and committed sexual immorality. Likewise, you also have those who hold the teaching of the Nicolaitans. Repent, therefore, otherwise I will soon come to you and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. So with them at the ones in the church of Pergamum been rapture ready? I don't think so. Next, Church of Thyatira. To the angel of the Church of Thyatira write, this is verse 18, Revelation 2, 18. These are the words of the Son of God whose eyes are blazing fire and whose feet are like burnished bronze. I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service and perseverance, that you are now doing more than you did at first. Nevertheless, I have this against you, you tolerate that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet. By her teaching, she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and eating of food sacrificed to idols. I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling. So I will cast her on the bed of suffering, and I will make those who commit adultery with her suffering intensely, unless they repent of her ways. I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds, and I will repay each according to their deeds. So, was the church of Thyatira ready? Rapture, rapture ready? I don't think so. Anyway, I'll leave it as another part. God bless. Bye-bye.